What's up guys, Epic Beer Dude here. There's Bluis in the house, playing with my dog. <laughs> anyway, I got a request from RJPX50 to do a Lagunitas brew, and he said um, do little something something or little something something wild, so I'm gonna do both. Double fisted. Um, we got little something something, and then it's big sister, little something something wild that just has more IBUs, higher higher gravity, higher alcohol. So I'm gonna get these two in a glass. Check them out. Yeah. Not, I'm gonna try not to get too jacked up like I did in the last video because that was pretty epic. But um, we have UFC 134 night tonight, so gotta watch some UFC. All right. This is this uh, Lagunitas Little Something Something is a wheat beer. It's actually 50% wheat made with three types of wheats. Um, of course, really clear, like it's a filtered wheat. And then this is Little Something Something Wild, the big sister, um, and this is considered a Belgian uh, strong pale ale. Um, we'll figure out and we'll see what these actually taste like. But those are the colors. The, the wild is just a little darker. Head coloration is the same, and they're pretty, both, both pretty clearly. They got some good carbonation coming out. There's a stream of it coming out of this one. See that little stream in the middle, if you can see that? But let's get a nose of it. Smells like a wheat beer, but it's got like the hoppiness of like peaches, apricot. Um, Rose petal, that sort of thing going on in the nose. Pretty cool. This smells more like a strong dark with uh, candy sugar. And then you got your blood orange, you got your pineapple, grapefruit kind of nose from the hops there. All right? So that's the nose, the color of the nose, and let's taste it. Wow. Super refreshing, um, just hoppy enough to still be a summer beer, but you but you get that like not not your average summer beer kind of taste out of this. This is like really refreshing, but um, the body is pretty. Uh, the mouth feels medium thick from from the wheat, so you get that good mouth feel, good flavor. Um, you get that that apricot and that and that and that kind of peach, that fruitiness on on the back end. Um, from the hops, and they linger a little bit, you know, but it's malty, it's weedy. It's a nice, really refreshing beer. I actually, I actually enjoy that. I actually would just chug the rest of this if I didn't have this to taste. Let's try this guy. And this is a little something, something wild. Alright? Different. Um, what this tastes like is more... I would consider this like a Belgian IPA instead of a strong Belgian pale ale. This is um really what I get right off the bat is spicy from the Belgian yeast. A lot of spice, um, and and then you get your your hoppiness there, and the bitterness like really just lingers. It it stays there. Um, more of an IPA style, um, a lot hoppier. And there's even a lot of warming from the alcohol. So it's this one kind of sets you back a little. It is 9.4 ABV and 7.5 ABV. This one you can totally tell it's a 9.4. This one, no alcohol at all at the 7.5. Um, I'm going to give this the little something, something wild. I'm going to give it a B plus. I like it, but right now it's, it's at like 117 degrees today. And it's still hot in here, even though the AC is on. So for me, drinking this right now, um, it's, it's a little strong and alcohol forward for me. Um, and even just a little too bitter for my taste at this point. As a beer, though, I'd give it an, a B plus, which is still a, definitely above average beer. I would give this an A minus. This is perfect summer beer for someone that doesn't just want a lawnmower beer. So, full chug, solid A for a little something. something. B plus for something wild. They're both really good beers. Check them out. Epic beer dude. Uh, shout out to RJPX50 um, for suggesting these to me. I've never had either of them. So cool. Later guys.